What is going on everybody? So iOS 12, the GM just got released. We're gonna take a look at it on the iPhone 7. Now, like I said, this came out with every single iPhone that supported iOS 12, including the iPhone 5S, which I'm going to do a video about. But on top of everything, guys, today's been crazy. The new iPhones came out. I made a video about that. It actually got demonetized, so I'm kind of salty about it, but I'm not gonna be too mad. But I think iOS 12, the whole entire journey has been pretty crazy. Specifically with the GM, they didn't really add too many crazy things. I tried to check for group FaceTime. I don't think they added it. I tried to look through it, but it doesn't seem like it's added, which I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna cry about. I think it'll be added on Monday when the official version comes out. But one thing I did look at was Siri shortcuts. And actually, if you go into settings and you scroll down to Siri and search, you actually are able to get into Siri shortcuts. And I, I don't remember if you were, you were able to get into that before an earlier beta is, but you are able to get onto it now. So that's pretty cool. You can do with it whatever you want to. You can show your weather in wherever you're at. I'm not even in Cupertino, so I don't even know why it shows that. But in Flawless Phone, the greatest website in the world, if you want to just, here's just an example, okay? You hold it down, right? And you can record to whatever you want to say. So open the greatest website in the world and I'll go ahead and open Flawless Phone. So I guess that's done. So now if I hold this down, I go, open the greatest website in the world. A, and it goes and opens flawlessphone.com, which I would recommend you guys to do. If you, if you guys wanna go ahead and just do flawlessphone.com and then set it up to do this, you guys will not be disappointed. But that is ultimately like the newer feature that was added in the GM. But ultimately like in iOS 12, we got a lot. We got group notifications, group FaceTime. Those were the two main features. The main thing I would say were bug fixes. And what's crazy was this update specifically was about, it was over two gigabytes. I think it was like 2.4 gigabytes on the iPhone 7. And I was already on iOS 12 beta 12. So if you're on iOS 11, I would probably assume it's like around two or three gigabytes, but that's pretty crazy. So that means even from beta 12, they added so many new bugs, fixes, and not too many bugs, but they added so many bug fixes, so many features and stuff like that. Now, like I said, there were features added, but in this specific GM, I'm not too sure if they added anything too crazy. Um, besides the Siri shortcuts, which could have potentially already been there, it's just really cool to see and have a much better feeling phone. And I can tell you from firsthand experience, it definitely feels much better on the iPhone 7. There are some cases where it doesn't feel as good, but and that's kind of more personal preference. Sometimes when I pull up the control center, it seems like it's a little laggy, but I, that could be from like, I just installed it, so it could be a problem with that. But I would say overall, it's very, very good. Now I did run a benchmark and on the earlier beta, I had 147,607 as my multi-core score. And I just re-ran it and it actually went up to 171,294. So a humongous upgrade or, or, or update, <laughs> about 30,000 points, give or take. And that's extremely crazy. This is a score that was pretty close with my iPhone 10. I mean, I had 194,000 on the earlier beta and now I have 171,000. So about 20,000 points difference. And that's pretty crazy. And I will say it's very, very good. That's probably the best thing about it is the speed improvements right there. And I think that's the best score I've ever had on any of the betas I ever ran a phone on for the specific iPhone 7. Cause I had a 7 Plus before and I don't think I got 171,000 if I recall. And that was on iOS 11. So. so overall, I mean, I will say definitely update on Monday because that's when the official version comes out. You still probably shouldn't install the GM, but the GM and the final version are going to be the exact same thing. Unless some horrible, crazy thing happens to the GM and they're going to make the fixes. But overall, I'm looking forward to it. I will say if you want to, you could update on your iPhone 7 uh, straight to it on Monday. But if you want to, you could probably wait until like 12, iOS 12.0.1 comes out. That might make it a little bit more friendlier for you just in case you're afraid of bugs or random glitches or stuff. But I will say, I mean, the betas, they fixed a lot of stuff out there. On point this time and they were they pretty much just ironed out all the bugs during all the betas so i think it's gonna be pretty solid when you update but guys that is pretty much it if you have any questions or anything leave it down in the comment section below hit that like button but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber we get really does count so it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my second channel low file packa it really means so much if you guys check that one out my twitter my instagram all that stuff is down there i would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys i'll fuck at you guys in the next video peace out till then